everyone, and welcome to this edition of the Terror Stroop Show talking Notre Dame Lady Bulldog Volleyball here. I am Vince Brown, and on the line with me from Notre Dame High School, volleyball coach Tara Stroop. Welcome back, coach. Thank you. A big way to start the second half of the season. A big win the night before our taping here at Perryville. A straight set victory, as a matter of fact, although a tough one. 22-21, and 21, a game that you said on last week's show could decide who gets that number one seed in the upcoming district playoffs in Class 3. And it's going to be a toss-up this time to see uh, whether or not you or Perryville does indeed get that seeding. Yeah, um, I'm not sure when the seeding is. It's sometime um, probably late this week, early next week. So we'll just have to see. Um, our records are really, really similar, so I'm not sure. But it did wrap up a pretty good first week to the start of the, the end of the regular season. Uh, Advance and Jackson were also on the schedule uh, on the road, and you picked up key wins on in both of those particular stats. Uh, this team right now starting to click on all cylinders just like they did at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we played really well in the SEMO tournament, and um, we had a little bit of a layoff after that. And it took us a little bit to kind of, you know, get going last night. We played a pretty clean game. We looked like we were back on our game last night. So we'll have to see. We're talking with Coach Tara Stroop of Notre Dame Lady Bulldog Volleyball here on PrepCast Southeast. This is the Tara Stroop Show. Uh, as the season has gone along here in this first half, even through uh, last night's contest at Perryville, more often than not, your crowd, in this case the dog town, the, the longtime student sec- section of the school, has been able to give you that lift. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain a number of them made the trip up to Perryville on last evening. Um, we didn't actually have that many. At Notre Dame, uh, we didn't, didn't have school yesterday, so um, we didn't have you know, a very big crowd, and actually Perryville did, so that was um, kind of, you know, one of those things we knew was going to happen coming in there. A lot of times, wherever, you know, we go somewhere on the road, and they usually have a pretty good crowd, so um, no, we we had, you know, we had a lot of support, our other teams and our parents and that kind of thing, but we didn't have a, a real big, you know, cheering section, but that was that was all right. We, you know, they played a really good game. When we come back, we'll talk about a couple of games, including one against a formerly state-ranked club in a lower class, but always still a tough team. The Bell City and Saxony Lutheran games coming up on the next segment of the Tara Stroop Show right here on PrepCast Southeast. <laughs> And we're back here on the Terrace Stroop Show in PrepCan Southeast talking Notre Dame Lady Bulldog Volleyball with Coach Tara Stroop. All right, later this week, you've got a pretty tough contest at home against uh, former state-ranked club Bell City out of Class 1. Uh, they, like you and Scott City, the defending Class 2 champ, making it to Kansas City on last school year. Uh, when When you take on a club like Bell City at this time in and time out made their way through the ranks in class one. You know you have to be on your A game because even though it's a di- lower class, that net is still the same height all the way around. Yeah, we don't. I don't like to overlook anybody. We need to, um, you know, play a solid game. That's, you know, what happened last night. We played really well. Um, we need to maintain that. And we're going to actually play a three out of five set against Bell City and it's just varsity, so that should be um, something to look forward to. But, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that one's always a good game year in and year out. So, And, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting considering the fact that Bell City doesn't have a JV uh, squad this year to kind of break things up a bit. It is a 6 o'clock first serve uh, over at Edwards Gymnasium. 
but the opportunity to play sort of the college style best of five instead of what you're used to with the best of three does that now give you a few extra games a few extra points to try and work things out so when you do go back to the best of three format you'll understand what it really does take to get yourself back to kansas city yeah, I'm I'm excited about it. We um, it, it it'll give us extra game. I mean, even if it it only goes three games, it'll be a three game set. And we really have not played a lot of three game sets this year. We played um, one against Scott City um, in the SEMO tournament, and one against Scott City at home. And I'm not sure. I can't really think of of another one. There might have been, you know, maybe one one more three game set, but. Um, most of our games this year have been two games, whether we won or lost. So um, it's going to be good to have that extra game, you know, maybe five games. You never know. But um, to to work some things out, to have people, you know, play more than just a couple games in a day, maybe get let some people um, get into some positions maybe that they haven't played a lot since we, you know, have more games to play. So that's, yeah, that's something we're excited about. Finally this week, you've got Saxony Lutheran the following night on October 8th. That's going to be a, a regular format, JV and varsity, um, starting at about 5 p.m. over at Edwards Gymnasium. And you're, you're go, getting ready to go up against a pretty much improved Saxony Lutheran club that has come on as of late. I don't know a whole lot about Saxony. We haven't really seen him this year at all. Um, you know, we didn't really see him at the SEMO tournament, so that's usually kind of a good time to look at some of the other teams and we just didn't really get a chance to see them so I'm not really sure what you know they have and uh, we're just going to have to come out and play consistent that's what I've been kind of talking to the girls about you you know no matter what's on the other side of the net who's who we're playing against you need to you know respect your opponents but play our game we need to you know play our game consistently and not you know, change as a result of who's on the other side. So we just need to keep it consistent. That is Tara Stroop joining us as always from Notre Dame High School and their volleyball program here on the Tara Stroop Show. We'll be talking a little bit more about some other key contests next week. Coach Stroop, thank you very much as always, and we will catch you this time next week. Okay, thank you. Folks, this is the Tara Stroop Show. I am Vince Brown, and you are watching PrepCast Southeast. Till next week, take care, everybody. Hey, hey, hey.